Well, welcome back to Your Carolina. All week long, we've been introducing you to our Carolina Eats finalists, presented by our friends at Ingles, where we invite our viewers to share some of their favorite Thanksgiving side recipes, and we've got some good ones for you. Of course, we're joined by Ingles chef Jasmine Queen. You always join us for these Carolina Eats adventures, as we like to call them. They are adventures, <laughs> aren't they? But I always love to be here. These are, you know, just we get some of the neatest recipes. And Ingles always gives a great uh, prize package to our finalists in the Carolina Eats. That's right. Each of the four finalists receive a $250 Ingles gift card, which couldn't be a better time right now to get a gift card to Ingles. Right in time for Thanksgiving yeah. to make some of these recipes. We want to introduce you to our, our latest, our final finalist in the Carolina Eats competition. We have uh, Mackenzie and Alex, the Reisters. Um, you guys are, are no stranger to the, the cameras because you guys have a, a YouTube series that you do this is. How, how did you get started with the food and being interested in cooking? Well, I originally started filming on YouTube in 2017, and I kind of realized I liked filming recipes as well. Okay, so take us through this recipe. Uh, no Thanksgiving table is complete without mac and cheese, so we got to have it. Right, so <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add in about a half stick of butter. Okay. And we're going to start off by making like a roux and one third a cup of flour. All right, so we are adding the last bit of our flour right here and just creating that roux so it doesn't get it looks great. lumpy. It looks really good. It's coming together great. Mm -hmm. And so after you get your roux made up, you're going to go ahead and take your Laura Lynn evaporated milk and I'm going to pour it in just slowly a little bit at a time. And this is how long would you say this recipe would take from beginning to end for people that are out there kind of got the timer on to see like how long. I mean, the prep time is only about 10 minutes. And when it comes to cooking it, you cook it on 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. It's all really personal preference. It depends on how brown you like the top of okay. yours. We like the edges to be a little bit brown. So we cook it about 35 minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, Grandpa Leroy always loved lots of cheese. So we actually used 24 ounces of cheese <laughs> for this sauce because of Grandpa Leroy. I'm with Grandpa Leroy on this one. You, the family has the best Ooh. names. Gan Gan and, Leroy. and Grandpa Leroy. <laughs> yes, yes. So, and then we're going to add the second bag in. And I like to measure with love. So sometimes, you know, um, the southern way, really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I really don't measure out my spices, if I'm completely honest. And a lot of times, I don't measure out my cheese either. <laughs> but I don't think you can have too much, though. There is you never, never too much. Never too much cheese or garlic. Has anyone it's ever cheese. said, this mac and cheese is too cheesy? It's too cheesy. Absolutely Can't. not. <laughs> what would be wrong with that? Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. And we, we actually usually half this recipe. When Gangan makes it, she uses double the cheese and double the evaporated milk, <laughs> double the butter and flour because she's making for a huge oh, group yeah. on Thanksgiving. So when we first got this recipe from her to share it with our YouTube subscribers, we actually wanted to half it because there was no way. You're like, way. what army is she making this for? <laughs> You're like, oh, it was us. Moment of truth. So we're going to pour this over top of our pasta shells. And you can use whatever kind of pasta shells you like. Oh, that is All like the so cheesy. cheesy. Yes, so, so good. cheesy. <laughs> there yes. we go. And then what we're going to do is just stir all of this together, the pasta with the cheese sauce, get it all mm. nice you're, you're, and you're, I can see I'm you're like, looking ooh, at that like, yeah. Right my, my mouth is watering <laughs> at this right now. <laughs> and through the power of television magic, oh. how, how, how long do we bake it? That's what we put it in the dish. About 35 to 40 minutes, just depending. You gotta gotta look at it depending on what you like. Some people like it a little brown on mm -hmm. top, some people don't. So we like ours brown around the edges. And okay. there you go. It's a serve just like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's for Thanksgiving, uh, this Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing this recipe from your family. We do appreciate that. And um, we'll be sure to link and tell people where they can follow you on, on YouTube to get some of those Rooster's recipes. Uh, Chef uh, thank Jasmine, you so thank much. you so much for another successful Carolina Eats. And yes. we love Ingles and all that you guys do to help us cooking and eating. Oh, we love to be here. This is, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to do. So, yeah. honored to be here. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Thank you all yes, so thank much. You thank you so thank much you. for thank having you. us. Yes. This has been amazing. Of course. For any of those recipes, you can head over to our website, livingupstatesc.com.